Hello, this is Michael Burge introducing my new Puzzle Quest plugin. Uh, there seemed to have been some trouble on the forums getting it working, so I've made this video to try to teach you how it works. I'm going to introduce, first of all, how Redstone Chips works in general, second of all, uh, what each of my six different circuits does, and third, I'm going to make a simple quest using it. If we walk over here to this circuit, it's a give circuit for quest number zero. It has four different types of blocks on it. The first one is this input block. Uh, when you send a current through to the input block, the circuit will respond to it. Uh, we also have an output block where it can send you information back, and it has an interface block where it will interact with the world. The fourth type of block is this body block, and when you put a sign on it, and redstone chips is scanning for interface, input, and output blocks, it will scan all of the body blocks that the sign is attached to. Now, in the case of my plugin, when we send an input to this give circuit, the lapis lazuli block will scan me, notice that I don't have an active quest, and that I haven't finished the given quest, quest number zero, and so it will scan me and it will give me the quest. So now I've been given this quest, it's in my actives quest list, and so if we come over here to the drop circuit, uh, this circuit will, if your active quest is the one listed, and you send it an input block, the lapis lazuli will scan you, notice that you have quest number zero, and so it'll remove it from your active quests list without giving you any reward. Let's get ourselves the quest again. Remember that we dropped it, so we never finished it, so we can take the quest again. The next type of circuit is this detect circuit. When you send it an input, it will the it will scan you and check to make sure that it's your active quest. Now I wanted to to show you something here. If you stand too far away, the lapis won't be able to scan you. Remember it has a range of 10. I'm too far away, so it doesn't find anybody and so it doesn't output any signal. But if I get within range, it does scan me, and so it does output that I do have this as the active quest. The fourth type of circuit is the finish circuit, and when your user has completed the quest, he's gotten to the end of your dungeon, then you send an input signal and the lapis will scan him and it will complete the quest for him, and will give him his reward. So here I've gotten 50 money for completing this quest. The fifth one is this completed circuit. It checks to make sure that you've completed the quest. Now, I, I just completed it with this finish circuit, and so it should output true, which it does. Another thing is that you can't receive the quest again. If we go to the give circuit, we can't take the quest again because we've already finished it. The plugin will keep track of which quests you've completed, and it won't let you take them again unless you use this clear circuit here which causes the plugin to forget about whether you've completed or not. And now if I come over here to the give circuit, I can take the quest again. Let's drop the quest and use these circuits to actually build a simple one now. I have a little area marked out over here. It was a nice flat sand area. Some of this is already built because the last video I did it got corrupted when it finally finished, and so I removed all of the circuitry, except for this torch, and I'm going to redo it all from scratch just so that you can see how to make a quest. So the first thing you'll notice is that one of these double doors is open and one of them is closed. That's just one of the properties of double doors in Minecraft, is that when you put them next to each other, one of them's open when it's powered and one of them's closed when it's powered. We want the doors to be closed by default, so I will make two wires going to each of the doors. And use a not gate for this one.
and now when I send an input signal, the doors will open or close. I suppose I should explain what the quest will be first of all. So the, uh, the user will come over here, he will be given the quest, he, the doors will open for him, he'll walk inside, the doors will shut behind him, he's now trapped within the hallway of horrors here. See there's spiders, there's, I think there's a creeper over here. He'll get to the end of the tunnel, the doors will be open, he will have finished his quest, and when he exits, the doors will close behind him, and he will be unable to enter the Hallway of Horrors ever again because he's finished the quest. So the first thing that needs to be done is that he has to be given the quest. And you can, you can put this in the main city on your server, you can put it a thousand blocks away from the actual dungeon, but just for simplicity's sake, I am going to make the quest circuit, the giving of it, along the hallway. Remember to put your lapis lazuli block close to the player, because if you're too far away, then it won't be able to scan him. Also make sure that you add a lever at the end of your gold blocks. Now when I step on this plate, I've been given the quest. If I step on it multiple times, it'll give me a little message because you can't be given the quest five or six times at once, only once. You only have one active quest. So we have our doors. They can open if you have this as your active quest. So the first attempt, so remember that we want the door to sort of have a memory to it. Uh, when, you, when you've been given this quest or when it detects that you have the quest, the doors will open for you, but then when you walk inside they will shut, but they will stay shut or they will stay open. So we need a simple memory cell, which I'll make here. This is known as an SR NOR latch. It has a set line and a reset line. When the circuit is reset, it will remember that it's been reset, and so it will output false here. Remember that this, this line here is the actual output. But when I set the line, it remembers that it's been set, and so the door stays open. Now, we want it to scan you and check that you have this as your active quest. We need to actually scan the user because if we only use the output of this one, then he could be given the quest and then just walk away, and then there'd be no way for him to get back inside the quest, even though he should be able to. So, every, so we will scan him again. Again, making sure that the lapis is close enough to the player. And we want to detect whether he is currently using quest number zero. And we want the input of this to open the door for us. So we'll hook this up to the set line over here. And just to make sure that this is long enough, remember that redstone only travels 15 spaces. I will add a repeater here. And now when I step on these pressure plates, it will scan me. Notice that I have it as my active quest. Remember that I took it from those two pressure plates. And the doors will open for me. So the outside of this seems like it's almost done. Well, now we need to work on a little bit of internal circuitry. Remember that we wanted the doors to close when you, when you enter inside, trapping you inside. 
Make sure that there's one space between the doors and the pressure plates or else it will the current from the pressure plate will force one of the doors open. If they're far enough away, they won't be able to send a signal to the doors. Remember, we want it to be controlled by our memory cell, not by the current from the plates themselves. And to pass the current through the wall, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use two NOT gates next to each other. And you see that if I throw a dirt block on this, this torch lights up. Whereas if I collect the dirt block, this torch turns off. So all I'm doing is I've transmitted a signal through the wall, and I need to hook it up to this reset line over here. And this was just for educational purposes. This reset line doesn't need to extend all the way back here. The actual signal to reset comes from this torch once you insert inside. And so I'll do that now. I will hook up the reset line. And now this should finally complete the outside of our quest. When you walk inside, you will step on the pressure plates and the doors will close behind you. Ooh, except for this one. And then this is actually another problem that somebody on the thread commented on is that and so and so I made a point to fall into the same problem so that you could so that I could show you how to solve this. Um, the quest circuit will scan you and it will leave its lever on. And the question is, if this lever stays on, then how do I how do I sort of modulate this pulse so that it so that I only get a single signal? I don't want a permanent signal keeping my doors open all the time. And the question is, and the answer is that we don't modify this circuit in general. This is supposed to stay like it. But what we do is we want the door to open is we want the signal to be sent if we have an active quest and we're stepping on these pressure plates here. So I'll do that right now. I will make an AND circuit. You can find on the Minecraft wiki a list of different Minecraft circuits that you can make. Or gates, Zor gates, AND gates, all of these. And also the Redstone Chips library itself has uh, lots of these built in if you feel uncomfortable with manually making gates yourself using Redstone. And so the output of this now, I should probably reset it though. Remember that that is also attached to a memory cell and it will remember which one is which. So the door, doors are closed by default. And how this solves your problem here is that, sure, this circuit will be constantly outputting this, but the AND gate will only output as long as you're on the pressure plate. See? When I step off the pressure plate, um, the AND gate's no longer outputting, but the memory cell remembers. The doors stay open, but once we reset the line in here, it's going to uh, change the memory cell so that it's not going to be constantly reset here. This isn't giving it any new signal. And so our SR NOR latch has saved us from from having our doors open and close against our will.